In this video, learn about achieving low surface roughness. Select the right tool material and geometry. Use cutting tools made from high quality materials like carbide or diamond that can provide a smoother finish. The geometry of the tool should also be appropriate for the material being machined and the type of finish desired. As examples, for aluminum 6061, which is a softer non-ferrous metal, Using a single point diamond turning tool can be ideal due to its ability to achieve very fine finishes without much tool wear. The geometry of the tool should feature sharp angles and a high positive rake to facilitate clear cutting with minimal material deformation. Hardened steel. For machining hardened steel, polycrystalline cubic boron nitride PCBN tools are preferable. These tools hold up under the extreme heat and pressure of machining hard metals and maintain a sharp edge longer. A tool geometry with a strong edge and negative rake angle can help in resisting wear and thermal deformation. Optimize cutting parameters. Adjust cutting speed, feed rate, and depth of cut to minimize tool wear and vibration, which can affect surface finish. Lower feed rates and shallow depths of cut can lead to a finer finish. As examples, acetyl. When machining acetal, a plastic known for its ease of machining, lower cutting speeds and high feed rates can be used to prevent material melting. For example, a cutting speed of around 250 to 300 meters per minute or 820 to 984 feet per minute and a feed rate of 0.3 millimeters per revolution or 0.01 inches per revolution can yield good results. Stainless steel. For stainless steel, which is tougher and more abrasive, Reduced cutting speeds and lower feed rates help in minimizing heat buildup and ensuring a better surface finish. For instance, a cutting speed of about 60 to 100 meters per minute, or 196 to 328 feet per minute, with a feed rate of around 0.05 millimeters per revolution, or 0.002 inches per revolution is effective. Use a finishing pass. Implement a finishing pass with significantly reduced feed rate and depth of cut. This reduces the cutting forces and heat, minimizing tool deflection and surface distortion. For example, a finishing pass for aluminum 6061 and stainless steel. In both cases, implementing a finishing pass with reduced depth of cut, around 0.02 millimeters, and decreased feed rate, about 50% lower than roughing feed rate, helps in achieving a finer finish. This approach reduces cutting forces and minimizes the risk of tool deflection and surface distortion, crucial for maintaining dimensional accuracy and achieving a smooth finish. Maintain tool sharpness. Regularly check and maintain the sharpness of the cutting tool. Dull tools can increase surface roughness by tearing rather than cutting the material cleanly. Regularly inspect tools for wear using a magnifying glass or microscope. Check for signs of flank wear, chipping, or buildup on the cutting edge. Employ a tool presetting machine to measure tool geometry accurately and ensure consistent performance. Implement a scheduled maintenance and replacement plan based on the tool's cutting material and the type of machining operations performed. Ensure rigidity in the setup. Minimize any movement or vibration by ensuring that both the tool and the workpiece are rigidly secured. Any play or vibration in the system can deteriorate the surface finish. Choose suitable coolants and lubricants. Control environmental factors. Surface conditioning. After the final machining pass, consider additional surface conditioning processes like polishing or burnishing to further improve the surface finish. This is especially useful in materials like aluminum 6061 and stainless steel.